which reminds us of the complexity of our history, its many layers and traditions, but also the importance of forbearance and conciliation, of being able to bow to the past, but not be bound by it. Of course, the relationship has not always been straightforward, nor has the record over the centuries been entirely benign. It is a sad and regrettable reality that through the history our islands have experienced more than their fair share of heartache, turbulence and loss. These events have touched us all, many of us personally, and are a painful legacy. To all those who have suffered as a consequence of our troubled past, I extend my sincere thoughts and deep sympathy. With the benefit of historical hindsight, we can all see things which we would wish had been done differently, or not at all. But it is also true that no one who looked to the future over the past centuries could have imagined the strength of the bonds that are now in place between the governments and people of our two nations. So, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to rise and, and join me in a toast to the President and the people of Ireland. The Queen has just died. Queen Elizabeth II was a profound figure throughout history. Her long service in World War II, her dedicated work on preserving peace and friendly relations with Ireland has gone un has not gone unnoticed. It is a tragic blow to lose this individual due to her connection to the past and her terrific and absolute dauntless history of bravery, fortitude and dedication. On behalf of Ireland I would like to extend my deepest condolences and sympathies to the people of the United Kingdom. God save the Queen, God save England. Queen Elizabeth, may you rest in peace, you have earned it.